the methodologies of the prophets and messengers. And when you read the Quran, you see how compassionate Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was, and and our blessed messengers, all of them, compassionate and merciful. The Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Ma kana rifqu fi shay illa zana." Whenever gentleness is mixed with nafir, it beautifies it. Wa ma yunzau rifqu min shay illa shana. And whenever gentleness is removed from an affair, it disfigures it. So being gentle and being kind to others, even to animals. You want animal rights? It's in the Quran and it's in the Sunnah. The Sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that the scholar, the person of knowledge, even the fish in the sea supplicate for him because he's bringing rights that belongs to them. Rights that belongs to them. Not harming the animals. Causing excessive, like you see nowadays with some people harming animals, harming their pets, and so on. And so this is not allowed. This is not allowed. The Prophet Muhammad said one day he heard a riding beast complaining about its treatment, and the last part gave him the ability to understand. He said, "Who is the owner of this?" And when he found out, he said, "Don't you fear Allah that you treat it in this manner? Don't you fear Allah?" That you treat it in this way. So be righteous to those and showing them the beauty of Islam with your actions before your speech. Being truthful like Jesus, Ibn Maryam. Siddiq al truthful, a truthful prophet and, and trustworthy. Being trustworthy to others, keeping up your promises. And keeping up your oaths. We in this country, we have an oath. We have a, we have a, a contract. A contract. And, up, and the Muslims, they should uphold their contracts. Awfu bil Establish or keep, keep up your contracts. Meaning, uphold your contracts. And the contract you have here, if you come in with a visa, or you come in, to the country the contract is, or you live in the country, the contract is, you don't go around harming innocent people, killing people, left, right and center, indiscriminately. That's why we say these individuals, just as Abu Umama said, hadith which is on Athar, which is in Sunan Ibn Majah, one of the prophetic traditions. Abu Umama, what did he say? He added to what, he uh, uh, explained what the Prophet ﷺ said. With regards to the Khawarij, the, these Kharajites who go around killing, يعني, who cause havoc in society, revolu- they cause revolutions against governments, they call Muslims disbelievers, they kill indiscriminately. What did, what did he say? They will leave the deed. The Prophet said they will leave the deed. Abu Umama added, and they will not return to it. That's why some of the scholars mention that they are not Muslims because they will not return to it. They will not return to the deen. They will leave the deen just as the arrow enters the prey. Yani, when somebody is hunting, the arrow enters the prey, they will leave the deen just like that. And this is the their affair. This is the affair. What day of good did they bring? Hassan al basri rahimullah said, one of the scholars in the first, second century, he said, they didn't bring one day of goodness. These Kharajites, these Takfiris, these followers of Muhajirun and Hizb al-Tahrir and Hizb al-Talitics and all that we used to call them back in the days, in the 90s. Because that's what it was, just politics. That's all it was. Whether the person is upon, whether it's righteous or not righteous, for them it was just occupying the people away from the methodology of the prophets. Calling the people to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And being... In society where you show good manners and you establish the truth. With what? With the da'wah to the Quran. Establishing the call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the Quran. Establishing that upon the people. But what you don't have, you can't give. If you don't know, then how can you give it? So we call upon those who have fallen into misguidance. Come back to the truth. Come back. To that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you life with. And that is a sunnah. The way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The last of the messages. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed us. 
with all of the prophets and messengers and the last of them, the best of them being Rasulullah sallallahu Why? Because he was the seal of the prophets and messengers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about him, قُلْ إِنَّنِي هَدَانِ رَبِّي إِلَى سِرَاطٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ Indeed, my Lord has guided me to the straight path. دِينًا قِيَمًا مِلَّةَ إِبْرَاهِيمٍ That deen which is upright, that way which is upright, and it is the path of Ibrahim, Tawheed, Ibadah to Allah alone. Hanifan, swaying away from shirk. وَمَا كَانَ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ And he wasn't from the polytheists. That's the, that is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about Rasulullah to say, 